Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to implement a, a bit of timeout logic and retry logic for fetch. So let's get into it. Uh, so this was kind of inspired from me talking to a co-worker the other day where he showed I found an old piece of code that he wrote a few years ago in the company code base and he had created a very nice piece of code for timing out a fetch when it's doing a request. So the way he had done it was basically that he used promise.race and then he wrapped a the, he wrapped the set timeout function with a promise so that he could wait basically a return a promise that waited for a certain amount of seconds and if that was resolved before the fetch in the promise.race, well then well then that's it, then the logic would continue because like it basically cancels out the fetch. And I thought that was really nice. So I told him I thought that was really cool and then um, we got to talking and I realized that there's actually a, maybe a even slightly nicer way to do it. And I just wanted to show you the like kind of how I approached the whole thing. So here we have two methods and it's kind of, yes, honestly, I was just building this thing first. Oh, uh, the fetch with timeout. Uh, but then I kind of just remembered that, yeah, there was this other thing with retries and stuff that was actually, yeah, that, that we could also look at. Uh, so basically the way that it works is that uh, it calls fetch underneath the hood. So it's just using fetch, but it also creates a function around which takes in the same inputs as fetch and this timeout. And then we can use an abort controller. And the abort controller, basically what it does is that it allows us to pass a signal parameter to fetch. And then we can call abort after a certain amount of time. And then that will act in the same way uh, in practically. I see um, it, this might be slightly better because it's actually going to abort the, the call itself. I'm not so sure if that's going to happen with promise.race or not, but yeah, I might be wrong. Anywho, uh, but this is pretty much, it's slightly cleaner than using promise.race and it's actually the intent, uh, one of the intended use cases for the abort controllers. So I thought this was pretty cool. And then I, in the same breath when I had made that and played around with it, I realized that I remember this uh, other, like this other time uh, a few years back, I had a coworker, a junior coworker who had, she had implemented a, uh, a piece of retry logic. And I remember we talked about it because her retry basically it looped uh, fetches and then it just like killed them in uh, she, she implemented it in a slightly different way uh, but i remember us talking about that if you do actually have a retry piece of logic this usage of abort is a pretty important one but it's also important to remember that you don't just spam retries because as you can imagine if you have like a hundred or maybe a thousand or a million people or whatever who are all using your website and you have retry logic on all your fetch calls and something fails with your system well then you're gonna basically get a distributed uh, denial of service a ddos attack uh, without intending it, intending to, because you have all these people and their scripts are just endlessly going to try to reconnect to you. So you need some type of back off logic. So I thought I'd show you that as well, or like a simple and naive implementation of this thing, right? So fetch with retry, uh, takes input and in it, just as the other fetch thing, and then the timeout and a certain amount of retries. And then we will loop in a while loop. And basically all we're going to do is we're going to call fetch with timeout. And if that throws an error, we're going to check if it is an abort error because calling uh, the abort controllers abort method is going to resolve a rejected promise or it's going to reject the promise with an abort error. And if it's not an abort error, then it's some other error we're just going to throw and let that fail because we only care about the abort. Uh, you can, of course, extend that with your own thing, of course. Uh, and then we're going to uh, decrease the count, and then we're going to square the timeout and log a little warning saying that, well, in a certain amount of seconds, we're going to retry this, and you have this amount of retries. And then we have the same wait function that my coworker implemented for using promise.race instead, where you just return a promise with a timeout 
and then you resolve that promise basically after the timeout. And if you don't have any more retries, we're just going to say that, hey, this thing failed. So I was just trying it out in the browser. Let's just refresh this. And basically we can say here, see here that, yeah, it works pretty well. Uh, so we fail the first couple of times and then it says, hey, you have this amount of retries left. And if we decrease it to say yes two, uh, oh shit, I needed to uh, paste again. So two retries and then you can see like there's, no, I mean, I'm not connecting to anything. I'm just kind of simulating stuff here. But as you can see here, it's uh, it's gonna fail with a nice little error saying that, hey, we tried twice and we couldn't do it. So that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, this was just a short video showing you some thoughts on how you can actually enhance uh, your fetch function to, the, uh, to do these sorts of things where like adding some retry logic, just remember if you're gonna do retries, uh, create some backing off logic. You don't have to do it exactly this way. Just remember that it's a good idea to wait. So, uh, and not just spam in uh, like if you're, because if you're in a while loop and you're going to try to retry uh, and you're not waiting, you're going to, uh, you're going to bring down your system. <laughs> if you have a lot of develop, uh, if you have a lot of people using your system. So just think about that uh, and also be aware of the abort controller. If you want to short circuit or time out your fetch, it's a very useful uh, thing to know about. Have a great day.